Okay, today we're going to be painting the windscreen on my 2011 Suzuki Hayabusa. I've seen a couple of them on the internet with a white windshield, and uh, I want to go ahead and give it a try. I went ahead and pulled out the hardware. Uh, as you can see, there's some there's a rubber grommet that you have to pull out of right here. That rubber grommet has a small washer in it and of course the uh, the bolt that goes into it that just screws right in and then from the inside is this little plastic push pin and that just simply goes in to the side there of the plastic you use a uh, small screwdriver to push the middle of it in and it pops right out in your hand so that's real basic stuff i went ahead and did that so and then once you pop those out the windshield basically just slides right out it's a very simple process I uh, went ahead and got the materials I'm going to need. What you want to do is paint the inside of the windshield. So get you some 400 grit 3M sandpaper for the plastic. You just take it, use small circles, and place it on here and just, just gently get you some small circles, just roughing it up with the 400. Then we're going to clean this off, get a little bit of water, wet sand it with the 400 again, which uh, when I come back, that's what we'll be doing. Then we'll use the final 600 sandpaper to uh, finish out the uh, sanding of the inside. Be right back. Okay, so we're back. Got my 600 grit sandpaper for the final uh, sand. And uh, I've already done most of it, but uh, you know, just fold it up in little squares. And uh, I use small circular motions while doing this. Uh, it's pretty scuffed up. Got it all ready to go. I'm going to go clean it up and then uh, come back out, dry it off with a, a microfiber towel, something that doesn't leave lint. Then we're going to have to mask off. We're going to mask off all the trim you see here and then the whole other side. We'll make sure no paint gets on it when we're, we're painting this thing. So we're going to get us some painter's tape and probably some newspaper and tape all that off. Then we'll be ready to shoot it. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and get it cleaned up and then uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back at the uh, Hayabusa windscreen. As you can see, I uh, got everything prepped and uh, I started my first coat. And when you're doing this, you just want to do it on several light coats. Uh, using the gloss white, again, on the inside of the windscreen. And it's just nice, even strokes when you do it. Nice, you know, light coat. Do a lot of these. And it looks like it's looking pretty good here. It's a beautiful day out. So, dry time is the minimum. But, uh, so couple quick coats we'll come back to it in a little bit but uh, it's looking okay uh, we'll see you here uh, once we get it uh, ready for the clear coat thanks okay we're back and we've got the painted windscreen installed uh, as you'll notice after I painted the inside of it as was the original plan I realized that this windscreen was tinted so it was gray so basically i took it back out uh, and i painted the outside of it too gloss white fusion krylon plastic paint and then clear coated it so it's looking pretty good uh i like the way it looks now pretty sharp and get it out in the sunlight i'm sure it'll look a lot better too but uh so that's it uh original plan was just to do the inside but with the tinted one you want to make sure you get the outside of the windscreen also. That's it. I uh, hope this helps. Thanks.